Hey guys, it's Saturday, so tomorrow is Sunday, go to church, and usually on Saturdays I recap what we've covered for the week, but uh, I'm going to go on with this teaching again next week, so I'm just going to go on here today with another part to the lesson here, and uh, I'm Keith Brown, this is Tack Room Devotional. Yesterday we were finishing up on James chapter 3, and no, James chapter 4 and verse 1, so let's read that again. It says this, where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war, that, uh, for de the desires of pleasure that war in your members? So pleasures war in our members. What do I mean by members? I mean in your flesh, okay? Um, let's, let's do this. Let's go to James chapter 7. And I want to show you the Apostle Paul speaks of the war that he's got going on in his members Romans chapter 7, and we'll start with verse, hang on, um, 15. Now remember, this is the Apostle Paul that's writing this. He says, for what am I doing, I, or, for what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate that I do. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good I do not find. For the good that I will to do, I do not do, but but the evil that I will not to do, that I practice. Now if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who did it, or do it, but sin that dwells in me. I find then a law, that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. Wow, that's the Apostle Paul. You see, again, the pleasures uh, of the flesh wage war um, with our spirit. The pleasures are the ones that wage the war. The things that we will not to do, those are the things that we do. Why? Because the law of sin dwells in our members. You'll, you can find that out a little bit farther. Let's, let's read on. For I delight, verse 22, I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. That's my spirit. I delight in the law of, of God. But I see another law in my members, and that law in my members is warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. So I, when he says in verse 23, I see another law in my members, what is that? That's the law of sin. The law of sin is in my members. The law of sin is in my flesh. And that's what is waging all this war. It's because of the pleasures of this world and we wage war uh, with one another because of this law of sin that dwells in us. Amen. Well, guess what? I got good news because I can't quit there. Because Paul says in verse 14, O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Watch this. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. So even though that law of sin continues to operate in my flesh, it can be overcome by the law of God which is in my spirit man. Now if you read on uh, in, in chapter 8, it explains it even better, right? So anyway, just to know that here, that these pleasures... Um, um, wage war in our members. Amen? Now, uh, I was going to tell you something else and I forgot. Oh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 uh, well, let's start with verse 1. says that, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Now, notice there, he doesn't say, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the wrath of God. No, he says the mercies of God. He's not there to beat you up. He's there to, to, 
to demonstrate the love of God to us. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is our reasonable service. See that's how you deal with this this uh, uh, war that's going on in the flesh and th this law of sin. It goes on to say and do not be conformed. This is verse 2 of Romans 12. Romans 12 2. It says and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing your mind. Get that law of your mind straightened out so that you can overcome this law of sin that's in your flesh and uh, then, then you won't have to wage this war. You'll just do what God tells you to and that war will be stopped. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. It's Saturday. Go to church tomorrow, guys. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.